right? So sometimes horses will injure their teeth, especially the incisors and the canines. And if you catch it soon enough, uh, there's that, you can often save them. We can do almost either like a root canal procedure or a pulp capping where we remove part of the pulp and seal the tooth off and then the tooth can be saved and we don't have to do an extraction. So here we've got a case where we're gonna show you how that uh, happened on a canine tooth. Okay, so here we can see how he injured this canine tooth here. Uh, but if we look closely and I probe right here, I can see that the pulp is still alive. It's still bleeding. So because the pulp is still alive, we can actually burr that out and then do a pulp capping and save this tooth. And then we might remove a little bit of this granulation tissue here. Okay, so here we've drilled out about uh, five millimeters or so, and we're gently washing the canal with some saline. You can use very dilute chlorhexidine or some other substances, but I like to use this very gentle saline application. And then we're gonna dry the canal, put some calcium hydroxide paste, and then seal it with a permanent sealer. Okay, so here we're putting in a little bit of calcium hydroxide paste down low. And that's going to help the, the pulp to regenerate some odontoblasts to form a dentine bridge. And it's also a little bit antibacterial. Okay, and there's a lot of different materials you can use, but on a canine, it's not in wear. And so uh, a material that's very effective is what's called IRM, Intermediate Restorative Material. And uh, you can just put a, that on there. You could put maybe a cement or something, but this works, works pretty well. So there we can see we've got the pulp canal sealed off and because it's a canine, it's not in wear and so it's not gonna be getting ground down and uh, that should maintain itself without any problem. So now we'll probably just resect a little bit of this uh, gingiva and then buff this canine a little bit so it's not quite so sharp. Mm -hmm.